Hey guys, Lay Boy Scout here. You remember some of these items from my USNER doc gear check video, my EDC gear check video. Uh, but we're not going to talk about any of these right now. I'm going to talk about this for a second. You guys know from that video that I am a small wallet kind of guy. I like little wallets. I like thin wallets. I like ones that uh, can go in my front pocket if I choose to. Ones that uh, I don't really feel in my back pocket. I keep as little as possible in my wallet because I just don't like having big bulky wallets. But as part of Gear Buyer's Guide slash Gun Websites is um, very, very cool uh, sort of assisted uh, gear review project in which uh, they mailed me a handful of things and I'm reviewing them for them and as part of their project. And all those items, uh, by the way, if you didn't uh, catch that video before, all those items will be um, auctioned off at the end of this uh, cycle of reviews and will be given to the Wounded to the wounded Warrior Project, which is awesome. Very, very cool. And this is what I'm reviewing today. This is Spec Ops brand wallet, or as they call it, the wallet. That's capital T period, capital H period, capital E period, wallet. Junior, actually. They have a, a senior as well, and you know, it's a little bigger. This is, uh, the, according to them, it's just right. According to me, it's huge. <laughs> according to me, according to me, it's huge. Okay, but that's just me. Okay, I'm a small wallet kind of guy. Most of you guys, I think a lot of guys out there are not small wallet kind of guys. So you'll dig this size of a wallet. You won't mind it at all. Let's get into some of the uh, specs on this thing. What's it made out of? Made out of Cordura, super durable Cordura 1000D nylon fabric and 420D nylon pack cloth. It's double stitched and bar tacked at critical stress points. In other words, this thing's pretty tough. It's divided over here. Full length compartments for your cash, or you know, if you want to put your cash over there, and then your receipts or whatever you keep in here. You know, George Costanza, you like to keep absolutely everything in your wallet, don't you? So you've got absolutely everything in this wallet. You can have everything in this wallet with all those compartments. You've got a little, a little zippered compartment here for your change, for your loose change, because you don't want to let that stuff go. ID can go in here, right? Cool. All your credit cards in here and other items, other card-like items, as I have in mine right now, or as I have in this one right now. I have been using this, by the way. I'm not. This is not an uninformed review. I've been carrying this around for a good, a solid week and a half since I got it. I put all my stuff into it that night and carried it around the next day and have carried it every day since then so I can get a really true, informed uh, opinion about uh, this wallet. Lots of room for absolutely everything. Also on the outside is another window for ID, which uh, you can use for you know some secondary ID, I suppose. Maybe your, um, your driver's license would go there, and maybe your concealed carry permit would go right there, something like that. I don't know. Um, a really cool thing about this is the closure. Uh, I'm pretty used to uh, Velcro closures on wallets, on these big fat wallets. This is not Velcro at all. They call this this sort of uh, shark bite uh, closure that uh, kind of goes in and tucks underneath there. Then leaves you this little tab so you can quickly pull that out to open it up. And this is semi-rigid. It feels like there's a little piece of plastic in here to make that as rigid as you know it can be while still being comfortable. And uh, it feels like there's an also sort of a piece of plastic in here, probably some nylon or something, uh, in, inside of there, stitched under there. So that when these two interface, they create a closure that's fairly uh, secure. You know, it doesn't just, it doesn't flop open, it doesn't fall open. It doesn't accidentally open. Um, and you don't need Velcro in order for this to work, which is cool because it's silent about as silent as Cordura rubbing up against Cordura can be, pretty silent. You don't get a big <laughs> when you open your wallet. <laughs> Excuse me for doing that. I have to spit now. <laughs> just kidding. But you don't get that sound when you have to open your wallet. So you're not announcing to the world that you just opened your wallet. So come over here and take my cash. You know, you just a little bit of clothing rubbing up against clothing is the only sound that this makes. Okay, so for what that's worth, I think it's kind of cool. It's definitely innovative. You've got a couple rings here so that you can turn this into a sort of necklace wallet if you feel that that's the need, you know, if you feel you have a need to do it that way. 
then you kind of flop that open and all your stuff is right there. Maybe your secondary ID, whatever ID that might be, kind of flops open and is displayed that way. Or, you know, hang it this way and that ID is on display all the time, if that's what you want to do. So a lot of great uses for this wallet, a lot of great ways that you can use this wallet if you don't mind its size. Personally, I mind its size. I like size, I like small wallets. I like ones that disappear inside of these <laughs> bigger wallets and uh, the guy that's carrying the big wallet doesn't even realize he's carrying my small wallet. That's the kind of size of a wallet that I like. But if you're the type of dude that doesn't mind a larger wallet, I say this is a pretty awesome one. I do, I really think so. If you're interested, let's show you how big this thing is. It's right around four inches that way and around four and a half inches that way. And of course, it's gonna give it's gonna be at least oh what is that? Oh at least three quarters of an inch wide in your back pocket. Has that been a problem for me? I'm not a fan of big thick wallets, but it hasn't been that big of a deal for me. According to Spec Ops, there's three different ways you can carry this, obviously in your back pocket, the necklace uh, method, and also uh, belt mounted. However, I haven't figured out how this goes on a belt. You might also be interested to know that this wallet has a lifetime guarantee. Go to specopsbrand.com to uh, get more information on that. What colors does it come in besides this coyote brown? It also comes in black and ACU camo. So, cool. That's pretty cool colors. Um, what else do you need to know about it? Uh, how much does it cost? Well, it's around 30 bucks if you buy it from Spec Ops. Um, you could probably find it for 25 ish if you shop around. Maybe even less. Not sure. So there you go, guys. A little wallet review. A little interesting gear review for you. Something uh, you might be interested in. I'm the late Boy Scout showing off a wallet. We'll see you all later.